autism, obesity, fat shaming, ugliness, big foreheads, cringe clip farming, and neurodivergent behavior. All of these things have one thing in common, and that is that these are generally seen as extremely negative qualities in society. But something I've noticed is that there is a slight shift, and maybe some of you have noticed it too, but these creators make a living displaying this type of behavior. A lot of them will incite this hate within their chats and end up using it for their own gain. See, back in the day, getting an influx of massive amount of haters was the worst thing you could ever do. It was seen as cyberbullying, it would make people depressed, or in some cases, it might make people do extreme measures like doing this. But today, in order to blow up, you do need a certain amount of haters. And the smart thing to do is to incite self-hate for views. Through things like rage bait, racism bait, master bait. All right, no, all right, okay. Today, we're gonna do a deep dive and analyze this new phenomenon known as self-hate for views among your favorite streamers. PSA, this is not a hate video for any of the creators involved in this video. I don't want no smoke. Now let's get started. Brief editor's note, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 50K, I appreciate it. Sketch. This whole topic has nothing to do with his new allegations. Elephant shrunk, telephone pole, up the butt. That is none of my concern. It has nothing to do with this video. Except for the fact that Sketch has rose to fame. A few people have taken issue with the fact that he essentially fakes autism for views. I somewhat agree with it. I would say that his behavior is somewhat resembling somebody who's neurodivergent. Um, you know, the weird kid in class. Somebody who's on the spectrum. Now, I don't necessarily think that this is a bad thing, though. Because if you look closely, what Sketch is doing is somewhat normalizing his behavior. He's shown a massive amount of love by everybody in the community, except except for Bruce dropping him off. That nigga be cooking his ass, I don't know why. It's in my ass, brother. <laughs> Slide it in. <laughs> Pineapples. Sketch's weird kid, autistic, neurodivergent, what's up brother act is, in my opinion, gonna help people who are on the spectrum or people who behave like that in the long run. People are gonna see them as, you know, people, which they should have been doing, but this can only be beneficial for that marginalized group. It's kind of hard to tell when creators are faking a character when they're pretty much acting like that the entire time and not breaking character. But with the new leaks, there is just no possible way back then he was talking about some put it in brother and anything like that, bro. He was probably just a regular normal dude. So I can see how some people could be offended that he is not genuinely neurodivergent or autistic and got major clout and a lot a lot of money from acting this way when there are actually people who were genuinely born like this and never received those opportunities and honestly i understand both sides queso he came up primarily off the los polos method he essentially just makes fun of his fatness all day and that's no diss the jokes be funny and he incites the chat to keep going and it makes tons and tons of clips can we ban the guy that just said seven deadly chances <laughs> we just said six foot sideways who just called me captain jack spare no food who said 122 solar masses? What you talking about, buddy? Queso incites the self-hate in his chats by making fun of himself, reading out specifically the chats that are insulting him as an ongoing running joke. I've heard that he doesn't care about the jokes and they're not that offensive to him. And hey, I wouldn't give a damn either if it was running up the bag that much, bro. Not the pocket watch, but Queso's pockets are deep and heavy. No offense, that was not meant to be a fat joke at all, trust me. Now, I've seen some people have some issues with him just because there's a lot, a lot of weight jokes. And you know how some people are not really cool with that. Some people have really big issues with weight loss or weight in general you know they were traumatized or body shamed as a child and it gives them flashbacks of the horrible times in their life and i get that and not everything or everyone is for everybody to me i think what queso does is perfectly fine it's not just like making fun of fat people and he's actually not fat he's a fat person himself the problem is though this behavior does normalize the acceptance of fat phobia hear me out hear me out hear me out the more famous queso gets for this type of joke and he's already you know huge obviously not in that way he's already a big creator not a big creator uh, bro a popular creator. And the more of this happens, the more people are spamming these fat phobic messages and they're glorified for it, laughed at for it, and turned into viral clips. And fat phobia online will just be even more normalized than it already is. There is a good chance that other fat people are going to be worse off than they were before. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't control your chat, but it is fair of me or anybody else to still critique the behavior of another creator. Yusuf. He's known for having a mega mind. Martian the Manhunter. Fish from Shark Tales. Roger from American Dad. Head shape. And this is not me insulting him. Hold up, hold up. He explicitly says this about himself. He exit on his chats. Other streamers begin on his head, literally. And hey, he even shaved his head bald to show off more of his cranium. I remember him doing uh, promos for his streams on TikTok where he was basically saying, join the live, I'm gonna show my forehead. Ever since I shaved my head, everyone's been calling me ugly, calling me unk, saying I look 40. I'm not that ugly, bro. And I'm gonna prove it. 
Yusuf literally milks his head for views. You went viral on Twitter for this crying picture after he went bald. You gonna need to do a new trick, bruh. Shave the eyebrows or something, bruh. Show off a new feature, because that forehead is gonna get a little old at some point, bruh. Put the fries in the bag. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Similarly to Queso, Yusuf will read the chats out and just make a lot of funny clips regarding his forehead. Now, if you know anything about Yusuf, you would probably know that he's Somali. There is a stereotype that they all look like, uh, this. Or like, you know, the I am the captain now guy. How did you know I was Somali is a big meme in the community. I was actually inspired to make this video because of Yusuf. And the reason why is because I saw TikToks of other Somali people being like, yo, this dude, this nigga is making it worse for all of us, bro. This nigga is not the representation of us. We are not all ugly. Look, Yusuf, bro, I just wanna say, on behalf of all Somalis, we are all proud of you. Psych, bitch. Do you know how many times, I don't even have a big forehead. Do you know how many times I've, I've been compared to you? Bro, I'm six foot, you're like five, seven. Stop it, stop now, stop. But yeah, it's looking scary. He's kind of contributing to the stereotype of, you know, having a big forehead. And hey, don't take it from me, take it from the community themselves because they're the ones saying it. But at the end of the day, he doesn't really have responsibility to uphold a good image of his people. It is what it is. I think the self-hate inside of by Yusuf directly contributes to his view count. Hey, it's helped him get a ton of new fans. There's a new thing, bro. Ugly privilege, bruh. No offense once again to Yusuf, bruh new phase now the new phase members are an odd group of people all right they are a bunch of different streamers of all different races size and shapes and they all come together to form one collective room of cringe ass clips Somebody smells like These dudes have no problem with being cringe as hell in order to get some views. And hey, I respect it, bro, wholeheartedly. Me, personally, I could never do nothing like that in public. Yes, I could. Maybe if the bag was right, I ain't gonna lie. If humiliation rituals were real, I would say this is one of them, bro. Now, I'm sure they know that their public perception is that, you know, they're extremely cringe. And you can kind of tell that they don't care. Even though they embarrass themselves for views, it's not really at the detriment of anybody else but themselves. So I think this type of self-deprecation humor isn't really harmful at all. Now that we got that out of the way, in my opinion, I would say self-deprecation slash self-hate humor has been been around since the beginning of time i mean we've seen it through prank channels we've seen it through comedic channels like miranda sings so no this is not really a new thing however it is taking over the internet right now but the way that there's so many great content creators and so much great content it is very hard to blow up so you kind of do have to use some type of bait essence either through thumbnails clickbait hey i'm probably gonna use it on this video right here i'm not even gonna front i'm probably gonna title it these streamers hate themselves you gotta do that to get the bag in today's day bro we are not moist critical bro we have not been here since 2014 making commentary videos and get a million views every time you gotta find to earn that right the game has kind of changed bro you gotta do what you can to get views you gotta do what you can to build a core audience and once you get there you know you're gucci so it is interesting to see the new tactics that streamers like to use like making fun of themselves or reading chats that make fun of them overall i would say self-deprecation or self-hate is not necessarily a bad thing i think that in a lot of cases this phenomenon can help mitigate the negative stereotypes around certain communities it can make certain qualities like nerdiness or geek behavior seen as a good thing it could make more people less afraid to be themselves in public and it shows people that no matter what there is somebody like you who has their own problems so you can do it too another thing i wanted to point out is that a lot of these creators probably were extremely insecure about some of these things i mean there's a good chance that these people were actually bullied growing up for some of these qualities and actually hated this thing about themselves and now they're able to use it and turn it into something positive and generate income from it and you know feed their families take care of their loved ones and that's a beautiful beautiful thing once again this is not a hate video obviously shout out to all the creators i talked about hopefully none of these niggas are on dr disrespect timing and i have to revoke my shout out because you never know with content creators if you made it to the end of the video make sure you like subscribe Join the Discord link in bio. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this topic in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the self-hate for views. Really, it's self-deprecation humor. Do you think that this is a good thing or do you think that this ultimately harms more people than it helps? Love you guys. Genuinely, we are almost at 40k. Road to 50k still continues. We have been on the way to 50k for a very long time now, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to speed up that process as fast as possible. I'm gonna try to get out as many videos as possible. Uh, second channel as well. Be on grind mode until DreamCon. I'm gonna be at DreamCon. If you didn't know, if you're gonna be at DreamCon, Say what's up to me. With that being said, it's Love Hill All. I love you, and I'm out.